Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of FAQOV with your host, Phil Freeman, where I answer all of your questions having to do with singing and speaking and using your voice in a happy and healthy way. And today's topic has to do with priming your words and keeping the form. And it, it addresses the question that Tim gave me, which has to do his, with his consistency um, in hitting high notes. So with that said, I hope that this answers your question, Tim, about using your voice and being more consistent with your high notes. So priming your phrase, priming your word, the very first word that you sing after a pause or if it's the very first thing that you're singing right off the get-go, you want to make sure that there's a clear execution of the first word that you sing and a clear execution of the last word that you sing, either in a phrase or in an entire song. So the best way to do this, the best way to get ready to sing a certain note, especially if it's a high note, is to get your face in the position of the word that you're about to sing or say, and then keep the form when you're done with a phrase. So let's say, let's take, <laughs> let's take the hills are alive from uh, the sound of music. So, uh, for example, the hills are alive with the sound of music. And what I did there, and you'll notice when you rewind back to that uh, part of this video um, is that I put my face in the position of the word the before I went and actually sang the phrase and then after I sang music even after I was done with the phrase music I kept my face in the position of the last word I said for about a second or so and then dropped and got ready for the next part so let's See what happens when I try to do that without priming. The hill already. The hills are alive with the sound of music. When you don't use your facial muscles, it has a tendency to cause a lot more strain on the larynx, which we you want to avoid. So bring it up to here. Let these muscles control what's going on down here. The hills are alive with the sound of music. It's going to bring a lot more control to your voice if you learn how to prime the word before you sing or say it and then keep the form after you're done with the phrase. So I hope that helps Mr. Tim with any questions that you might have about voice control. I hope this gives you at least a running start to get to get over that hump of uh, uh, inconsistency. And uh, I hope that this was useful for everyone else watching this. And by the way, you might notice that this is a new camera. I'm doing this off of my phone. If you like the quality, awesome. If not, it's the reason is because I just broke my other camera. So for any of you out there who are uh, uh, videographers or photographer nerds and you know of a really good camera, that I could get for a pretty economical price, feel free to let me know because, yeah, that would be really great to get something that's uh, not too expensive but can uh, be an upgrade from uh, the camera I just broke. So, anyway, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Practice makes progress. And always remember, with that, you can go and find your voice. Take care. Until next time.